welcome to the Jake Games Stream. Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Subnautica Below Zero. If you guys have missed out on any episodes, like always, you can go back and you can check out a playlist. Get yourself caught up on the ones that you have not yet seen. Not wearing it right now, and I don't actually have it next to me. I usually do. But uh, merch is available now. You can check that out. Link should be down below in the description. Uh, on channel page, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube, you should be able to find that somewhere. Um... Also, if you want to help support the channel and get a bunch of cool perks like access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server that we are going to be starting Season 3 very soon here, uh, that's only 99 cents. You can become a member here on the YouTube channel and uh, yeah, you get a bunch of cool perks. You'll get emojis you can use in the chat. We got a new one that uh, we can use now, Ross the Boss. Boss Ross, I think is what it's uh, actually called. But uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy, subscribe to channel, turn on notifications, because you don't want to miss out on any future streams or videos, and I need to take a nap. But anyways, we are back at the Subnautica. Uh, what did I, what was I, where did I leave off? I don't know if anybody's here that can uh, remind me, but first of all... We need to play, shuffle, and let's skip. Um, yeah, I kind of got to figure what was I, what was I working towards? I found the red zone, and uh, with that, I think, I think I can craft like the uh, alien body. Um, that's something I do at the. Uh, the zone. I don't think we need to be able to. I don't think we need to make anything to go deeper at the oh, moment. I right in front of me. I, I'm pretty sure we're pretty good on like our uh, our depth modules. Let's go. Let's go see. Because we did just do one for this, right? I can't jump over it. Yo, what's up, Beerzo? Uh, am I the only one watching? Uh, we got Timothy Kyle Gaming here. Uh, Ross was here. I'm not sure if he's back, but... Then, uh, well, there's, there's three people watching, so... It's you, Timothy Kyle Gaming, and, um... Somebody else. And also, I am live on Twitch. There's one person watching over on Twitch. So how's it going, uh, Beerzo? Welcome to the stream. I'm glad to see you here. Prawn suit depth module mark two. So that lets us. How far does that let us go? That lets us go pretty far, right? 1,100 meters. Uh, Beerzo says, oh, "Okay, yeah, yeah." I'm kind of trying to figure out what my next step... Uh, Timothy Kyle Gaming still here. Nice. All right. Uh, Beers is doing good. I'm doing good also. Yeah, a little bit tired. You know, it's... Uh, my routine is get off work. I work uh, nights, get off work, and uh, get home and do some live streaming. So I'll be ready for a nap by the time I'm done here. What I need to figure out is what my next goal is. I need to... I think I need to craft the alien body parts. I think I can pin those. I don't think they're in here though. I think I need to just go here and find them. I know where the place is to like actually go. Uh... By the way, do you play this game a lot? Do either of you guys play this game a whole lot? So like, um, I have the place. I know where the places where I can craft the alien body. But uh, I don't know like how important that is. MT Kyle Gaming says, can you search me after that game? Uh, I think I, I think I might, I'm pretty sure I subscribed to you already. I looked you up, uh, after the one stream when you wanted me to. Let's see here. I got a whole bunch of beds I can make. I can make a million different beds. Okay, so let's pin this and pin this. We have all the parts. That one's pretty easy. The organs? Uh... 
um, ribbon plant, kyanite, which I think I have some kyanite. Let's see, do I have any ribbon plant? I think I can get ribbon plant pretty easy, right? Do I have any? Oh, I have ribbon plant, so we needed, what, two of those. We needed an ion cube, which I have over here in the alien stuff. So let's grab that. Charge? Okay, so you, these actually do, like, deplete charge. Was that, was it like that in Subnaut, in the first Subnautica? I don't remember. There's that, and then kyanite. Did I have any more kyanite? I do need plasteel also for that one. I need diamonds, which I have plenty of, I believe. Somewhere around here. Yeah, oh yeah. Was it three of them? Yeah, three diamonds. Oh, that middle one's a little bit tricky, isn't it? Also, we can get we can get kyanite when we go down to this place. I have um, I have two of these. Is it a flowering spore? Is that what it wants? I'm not entirely sure what that middle bit is. How do I check that? Root pus pustule. Where do I get a root pustule? Does anybody know? Synthetic fibers also. I need that. I don't know if I have that. Where are my synthetic fibers at? Oh, I do have a synthetic fibers. I do need one more kyanite. Um, fudge, and that root pustule. Beerzo says, gotta go. It was good watching your stream, by the way. You got a new subscriber. All right, awesome. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at another uh, stream. I stream, lately I've been doing Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, Friday, I'll hopefully be able to stream a little bit longer than today. Like I said, today I uh, got off work, got home, started streaming, so I'm pretty pooped. Probably won't, I'll probably just do an hour here and then uh, it'll be bedtime for me. Yeah, I appreciate uh, you subscribing and watching and stuff. You have a good day, buddy. Uh, lubricant. I don't need lubricant. How do I make... Can I make root... Root pustules. Found in kelp caves. Contains highly reactive compounds. This. Hydrochloric acid. Okay, so let's see. That's young cotton anemone and salt. I thought I had that. Beerzo says, yeah, bye. Right on. Peace, buddy. Um, thought I had the young anemone. I'm very curious what's going to happen when we build this alien body. Young cotton anemone. Is that what it was I needed? Am I losing my mind here? Yeah, it is young cotton anemone and salt. Okay, so I need one more of those. Timothy says, my phone glitch. I'm back by the way. Oh, okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, we need that. And we need salt. Do I not have salt? I don't know if I have salt, to be honest with you. Yeah, if I had salt, I'd probably be using it on my food, wouldn't I? Do I have food? This song is creepy. Don't know how I feel about this song. That one kind of throws me off every time it plays. Check on something here. Oh yeah, we're still good. We're still good over there on the uh, on the good old Twitch. Calorie intake. Well, fudge. I need to find salt. And. Uh, you know that, um, if I find a decent bit of salt, I could use it to make foods, too. Let's bust out the good old scanner and look for salt. We can search for salt, right? Uh, 
Uh, Timothy Kyle Gaming says, what mobile game you play? Uh, I don't really do a whole lot of mobile gaming. Not a whole lot of that, that kind of stuff. Where is like the salty zone? Where can I find some good salt? Some delicious tasting salt. Also, I need to work on finding that pustulate. It says it's in kelp caves or something like that. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Where are we at, salt? Oh, I need to eat food. Uh, do I have any fish on me? I'm going to eat you, fish. Uh, I hope you don't mind. You're going to be a tasty snack. Also, oh, you know what I could do? Oh, my inventory is full. I can't really do that. You know what? I I need to unload my inventory. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back. I'm going to put this in my sea truck. Either my sea truck or my uh, prawn suit. One of the two. Also, we can kind of check up on... Uh, I'm going to eat another one of these. Check up on if... Um, I have some of these ingredients in my storage. I might, I might do. I might have some things kind of locked away. Tunes are still going. Oh yeah, there's my kyanite. There's my fish. I have a lot of fish that I can eat too. Let's just put all the stuff we already have into here. Uh, Timothy says, "Do you watch socks for one?" I do not. What is even that? That, yeah, that stuff's all good. We got the anemones. All right, I need to cook some food real quick because it'll be better for me. We need the hyd uh, we need the hydrochloric acid and the pustule. Everything else we have. That sounds so gross, a pustule. Why do they have to call it that? I don't get it. Diving in too deep. I drank some water, I didn't mean to. Cause I'm diving in too deep. I'm gonna eat a spinnerfish. I think Turbo said that was his cousin, but I just ate it, so sorry, bud. Um, salt, yeah, that's what we were looking for, salt. Let's go find some salt. Let's go see if I have some, maybe. Love that we have tunes everywhere we go in base. I didn't have salt in here, did I? No, no saltiness. can grab some more of these fish. Let's keep this kind of reserve for my uh, stuff I'm taking down there storage I'm very curious what's gonna happen when we uh, get the alien body built any salt I'll have some more stuff in here that I can take down there with me no always wants to make me change the locker name empty empty no salt I don't have one piece of freaking salt Nowhere to be found. God dang it. Let's get this salt. I need to get salty. Uh, Wolfwood says, that the new Coldplay album? Yeah, I think so. It's pretty good, isn't it? I've been jamming to that. How you doing today, Wolfwoods? By the way, I'm glad to see you here. I feel bad. I haven't been able to catch your streams because... Um, my new work schedule. So like I don't get home till 7:30 and you stream for me it's like 11:30 or noon. So by then I'm like passed out, like hard sleep, you know. So uh I don't I don't usually get to uh to catch you. Jukebox is so fun. It is. It's so nice. I love the jukebox. I need to get one on my sea truck, man. I think Adventures would be so much better if I had a little bit of tunes blasting when we head out. At the moment, uh, if you 
see up there. Um, Wolf says, I'm good, sleepy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I go into work at 11 at night. And I think for me, that's usually when you start your night streams. But uh, if I can catch those when I'm on break or even I'll throw it on like on my way to work, just have you playing in the in the background. But yeah, it's uh, it's just freaking work, man. All good. You're usually streaming before I'm up. I miss yours. Yeah, it happens. I mean, it's just the, you know, different time zones and stuff makes it so hard. Oh, there's some salt. I could see the salt before my freaking sensor started even beeping. We going. We going. Oh, I'm stuck under the ice. Oh, that's not good. I need oxygen, but I'm stuck under the ice. Somebody help. Oh, I see the I see the surface. Please. Please. Oh, there we go. We only needed one piece of salt, I think, to make the hydrochloric acid. But if I can get some more, I might as well, right? Uh, so, yeah, I'm, like, at the point where I can build the alien, his body, I think, just about. I'm just getting, like, the last little bits of uh, stuff that I need. Not sure how long I'll be here. Might sleep a little longer. Got up early with the wife because she had a job this uh, morning, but might sleep a little more. Yeah, no worries. I uh, appreciate you popping in, at least, and stuff. And, like I said, it's been a while since, uh, you know, either of us have been able to catch the other stream, so... Maybe uh, maybe one day soon I'll be retired and I'll just be able to stream and um, watch your uh, streams and stream my own streams and it'll be good times. <laughs> Wolf says, "Look at that shaved face." Yeah, dude, it's uh, it's rough. I I went into work, man, and people like weren't recognizing me. Oh yeah, dude, I made some serious progress here. But yeah, man, everybody's, like, having to do double takes because since I've worked at my job two years, I've had a beard. So, like, nobody's ever seen me without one. But it's it's coming in pretty quick. And I'm thinking I might do it a little different. You know, may, maybe uh, grow it back a little different this time. So we'll, we'll see. Hopefully uh, that goes good. Tim says, what the time in your country? Me, 9.32. Uh, for me, it is. Yeah, it's 9.30 for me. Like 9.30 a.m. <clears throat> so I got off work at uh, 7, got home about, got home and like started getting set up for streaming about 7.30. I think I started about 8 today. See, like, otherwise, if I tried to get some sleep and then stream, it would be, like, way later in the day. So, like, a lot of people who normally get to catch my streams, I feel like they wouldn't get to. I don't know. It's it's tough, man. It's tough coming up with a good time now that I'm on this new work schedule. But I'm working towards uh, – I actually almost have a full setup for the van for streaming. I'm gonna, I got some games I'm going to stream from the van. The only thing I need is internet. And I'm thinking I'm going to go with uh, Starlink. It's, uh, it's expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it because it's going to be the best option for good internet, like out in the van, especially if I go to weird places. Oh, oh, heck yeah. We got them. We got them beats going, man. Them sick tunes. You love to hear it. I done straight up filled up my freaking inventory, so we're going to cure some fish. So we need polyaniline, and we need hydrochloric acid, which I can make. And what else did we need? There was something else. Uh, oh, sweet. Getting the van up and running would be uh, great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like the inside's nearly finished, but I, I went and I got myself like a, uh, a movable table so like I can set my laptop up I've got myself I'm thinking I'm just gonna do like switch stuff because the switch uh, dock and all the switch components are small enough and I got a lot of games on the switch that I can stream so I'm thinking like some late night like you know 
just streaming one game um, at night or something. Oh yeah, you got to put the music in the truck. Love cruising to some jams. I know I would love to. I don't know where. It, I haven't found the freaking the uh, the one that I can use to put the jukebox in there though. I think I need some kind of upgrade, don't I? Uh, I need some gold for this. Should have gold laying around somewhere. Probably back here. I just love how in my base I can go anywhere, any room, and I have I have music. I put so many speakers up. Polyaniline. Okay, nice. Okay, so we can make we can make two of the three components. All I need to find is this uh, pustule, which sounds disgusting. How do I find a uh, root pus pustule? My dude just say die peacefully. I think it's the attachment you can sleep in, right? Is it? Is it the sleeper one? If that's the case, I could make it. I think. All right, let's throw some stuff over here in my uh, my setup. I got the setup going for like. All the equipment I'm going to need for building this alien body. So, we have this. Um, yeah, all I'm missing is the pustule. Uh, once the truck is done, you going to quit your job and become a nomad? Van, not truck? Dude, I would love to if... Um, if I made enough money to just like sustain my myself, you know, being able to be a nomad, YouTube videos and live stream, dude, I'd be I'd be so down. I think the day will come when I can do that, but it's just not quite yet. I'm getting like one of the biggest things is paying the van off. Once the van's paid off, that's a big bill off my plate. Um, yeah, one day, one day I will. So I have diamond, I have polyaniline, I have plasteel, I have this, I have gel sacks, I have ribbon, I have ion, I have these. Um, so yeah, I just need to... Found in kelp caves, contains highly reactive compounds. Where is the kelp caves? I don't remember coming across no kelp caves. We can go, we can go try and find some kelp caves. Uh, is that what you want to do? Be a full-time content creator? Oh, yeah. Yeah, ultimately, that's what I'd like to be able to do. I need to kind of repair this up, too. Oh, hey, monkey. Thank you. Sea monkeys are nice now, dude. They were buttholinis in the beginning, but they've kind of become chill now. And this guy's chill. He's my pet. Wolf says this song is great. Love it. Nice, nice. Yeah. What about you? I mean, I know you do a lot of streaming and stuff. Would you ever want to go, like, full-time on it? I mean, I'm not, I, I feel like I'm not too far off from it. I, I get like a decent amount of views on, you know, my main channel stuff. Make a little bit of money there. I make a little bit of money on the gaming channel. So if I had more time to like just dump into it, I think that I would ultimately be able to make a decent bit more money. But would it be enough to like fully live on? I don't know. I don't know, I could always, you know, that's the other thing too, is like I always say, like I could, if I can make a steadier income on YouTube, then I could just do a side job part-time. Timothy Kyle wants to do full-time streaming. Yeah, that'd be nice. I guess that's, that's the dream, man.
I might need to look up where the, um, what was it called? Kelp? Kelp caves? I'm going to look that up. I don't know where that's at. And I don't have my professional Ross here to, uh, to give me my info. Um, kelp caves. Oxygen plants are crucial in these caves. You uh, find many creatures like sea monkeys. So is it like the... Um, hmm. Is it maybe like the area where What's-Her-Name has her, her base camp set up? I wonder. We could, uh, we could head that way and see. I wonder if it's like uh, one of those ones that's pretty tough to find. Let's go get Trucky Timmy. We're going to take Trucky Timmy on this adventure. Oh, Brittany B in the chat says, I think it's near the sea monkeys with a, uh, oh, what is the frog's name? What is his name? Pepe? <laughs> uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like where that lady has her, uh, her base set up. Wolfwood says, nah, I enjoy my job. Not quite a dream job, but it's along those lines. Streaming is more of a side hustle for me. Good growing and learning experience. Yeah. All right. Right on. Yeah, I mean, if you like your job and stuff, like, yeah, no, I wouldn't see uh, wanting to leave your regular job if you act actually enjoy it. Absolutely. Yeah, as for me, I work the... Uh, the factory life and the night shift life, which is absolutely butts. But um, Welcome aboard, I guess the, the factory stuff's not too bad. And none of it's like super hard. It's just uh, repetitive. Like you want to lose your mind sometimes just doing the same thing over and over. And sometimes for multiple days, like sometimes there's big jobs that you have to do. And you'll come in one day and you're working on that job. And guess what? You come back the next night and you're working on that same thing. And maybe even the next night and you're like, oh, does it ever end? It feels like you never you never left because you're just doing the same thing. Oh, dang. I didn't realize you were in uh, factory work. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So we make um, like uh, gas, gas line equipment. It's like the stuff that goes from your, uh, from the, the ground, like underground from the um, the road or whatever. Not the road. What the hell? What am I trying to say? <laughs> um, yeah, from the ground to like your meter. That's that's the stuff we make, like risers. And uh, I do what's called fusion. So like I'm taking plastic parts like tubing and melting attachments onto tubing wolf says yeah that's hard yeah oh yeah absolutely like the piping yeah but it's like it, the main thing that we do is like the stuff that goes you know right to your meter so it's like from the ground to your meter they, they call them the risers or whatever oh boy don't attack me please Yeah, I mean, none of it's, like, super hard or anything. Like, some sometimes you have some jobs that require a little bit more lifting, but for the most part, like, we're working with pretty small stuff, small-scale, like, parts in, in the job that I do, at least, like the fusion jobs. There are big fusion jobs, too, but... Yeah, so it's, like, it's not, it's not too bad. I feel like, um, okay, I was going to say, I feel like I'm just floating over the void, but it's just because I'm moving slow. There is actually, like, ground underneath me. I'm hoping this is the right place to uh, dip on down and find this 
pustule. I feel like I I might have even seen them before. Might have even picked them up and been like, what the heck is even this? And just chucked it out. Please don't attack me. There would be no need for you to attack me. How you doing today, by the way, Brittany B? Over there on the uh, the old Twitch. Hopefully, uh, hopefully things are going good for you. If I was a pustule, where would I be? Where would I be hanging out at? Should I find the lady's house and go from there, or should I check in this little zone here? I need two of them also, so that's... You know what? I think I have everything on me right now. That's not pushels, is it? No. Uh, Wolf says, you get monetized on Twitch? Yes, I, uh, I actually did. Um... When was it? Last, not last week. I think the week before. I think you raided me, and I think you actually pushed me over the edge, um, of getting like the uh, average of three. So yeah, I did. Uh, I did hit the uh, affiliate level. I think there should be. Uh, Brittany says sorry, it wasn't ads. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. So Brittany said there is ads now. So yeah. Um. <clears throat> We got that stuff. I'm still, I still got to like set stuff up. I got to get emotes going. And, um, I set up my coin. Uh, I, I made my coin. It's meads. So like if you, if you're on Twitch and you got like the, uh, the watch points or whatever, they're minor, mine are called meads. They're like a little bottle of mead that you can get as you, uh, as you watch. Wolf says, sweet. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah, I appreciate the raids and stuff. You really helped out with getting the average up. That that pretty much uh, that last time that got me there. Brittany B says boobs <laughs> redeemed your highlight uh, with a hundred meads, and it's it's boobs. I didn't. It, is that like one of those ones that Twitch has? Uh... Oh, it's highlight your message. I got you. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's one that Twitch just automatically has in there. I gotta add my own. Yeah, that's pretty cool though. It works. Wolf says glad to help. Heck yeah, buddy. You know, I think um, if it works out right, like I'm, I'm trying to stream Friday mornings. So if it works, uh, the timing works out, I'll probably try and like raid your stream. Like we'll, I'll stream for the morning Friday, and then um, when I'm finishing up, I'll send everybody on over into your uh, your stream. Holy frig, I'm getting frigged up here. I think I've been here already. And this is not where I need to be. I'm not in like a kelp a kelp cave. <clears throat> Brittany says, yeah, well, well. Nice, very nice. Yeah, so I'll need some uh, some ideas for things like uh, rewards you can do, redeem for those points. Uh, if you want to join Discord. I don't know if you're already on the Discord. Um, anybody who's watching this now or in the future, if you want to join the Discord, drop some ideas for stuff like that, definitely uh, feel free to do that. Links should be in descriptions and on my channel pages and all that good stuff, so you should be able to find it. I That fish was hanging on there on the, on the windshield. Uh, Wolf says, what are you looking for right now? We're looking for the, um, the pustules. They're called. They're called root pustule. And it said they're in the kelp forest, which I think I took a wrong turn on my way to, or the kelp cave. I think I took a wrong turn on my way trying to get here. So like I think, it's in like the sea monk. You know where the sea monkeys are all chilling. Thought it was maybe in in that area. It's not these, is it? Is it actually these? 
I'm gonna check just because like that'd be kind of dumb if I'm it's not these no I don't know what it what it would look like in in nature you know it's they're like yellow balls <laughs> I mean I don't know how else to describe them <laughs> Looks like giant roots. Okay, so like something like this maybe? Is it something you like cut off of a giant root? They grow out of them. Okay. So I feel like, you know, like these are like giant roots, right? You'd think that something like that or is it... See, I still don't think I'm in the kelp, uh, the kelp cave either. Maybe I need to head out of here and like try and find a different place. I'm just whacking into everything along the way. I'm actually just stuck right now. Not far off, yellow sap balls growing off of root-looking things. Okay. But probably not in this area because it did say like the kelp, the kelp cave. So I feel like I need to find the sea monkey zone because that's what's considered kelp cave, right? Might actually be near Marguerite. Oh, really? That's what I thought. Like I, I, I don't know why I had a because it, it says kelp cave and that just made me think of this area. Which I think the sea monkeys are back this way, aren't they? Or are they like in a they're down deeper in a different area? And like I feel like I might have come across these things already. I just never grabbed them or I just like didn't think nothing of it. But if we can grab these, we can just we already got everything with me. I can just head straight to uh Straight to the place where we build the alien body, the architect body, or whatever the heck you want to call them. Yeah, this is like sea monkey zone. We just need to find some big roots. Maybe dive down a little bit over here. Come on, let me through. That's not it, is it? I'm just going to think that everything is it. But it's probably not it. Give me stuff. Seek fluid intake. I'm working on it. Are you it? You're not it. All right, let's, let's seek some fluid intake. Let's seek some food intake, too, while we're at it. Just drink that recycled water. Uh, Timothy Kyle Gaming says, hey, men. What's up, buddy? Still here, huh? Oh, you're back. Okay. You're back. See, a lot of these roots are looking kind of suspicious to me. Like they might have some, you know, kind of yellow balls growing off of them, but I'm not seeing no yellow balls. It's not. It's not working out with the yellow balls. Let's uh let's continue on our voyage here in the in the sea truck. So that way I can crash it into everything along the way. Yep, I'm already I'm already stuck. That's good. That's very good. Very stuck. Dude, I'm gonna be it's like I may have to go back and watch some of my other videos because I'm pretty sure I probably like grabbed one of these. At some point and just like threw it out like oh this isn't important if you go near marguerite and dive near the squid sharks you'll find it okay back to marguerite i'm going back i think she's uh back over here yeah i'm getting all turned around and stuff it gets a little tricky 
navigating in some of these because they look it all looks the same some of these places Marguerite's down this hole isn't she I don't remember seeing a squid shark near Marguerite though either pilot last okay if, if I just go to pilot last known location I usually can find it that way down here is it through this yeah I think it's through this let's friggin go because there's some caves near there okay Yeah, see, I mean, like, all this looks like this should be area where you get it. Like, that even looks like that should just be it, but it's not. <laughs> now, where the heck are you, Marguerite? I can't even find Marguerite now. I feel like I'm just going the wrong way. Oh, here, maybe we dive deep, deep down here. Let me know if I just straight up pass it also, because that's, oh wait, this is alien stuff. But, this looks promising, doesn't it? Shouldn't this be a kelp cave? What the heck is this? I don't even know what this is. Where are you at, Marguerite? I'm coming for you. I know she don't even want to talk to me anymore, but I'm still, I'm coming for you. You're going to give me them freaking pustules. I need them. I need them bad. All right, I just kind of, I, I think I got to like reorient myself here because I'm getting a little bit frigged up on my directions. It just, uh, all right, so if we were coming from home base, we'd get to that over there. There's Squid Shark. <clears throat> squid Shark marks, okay, that, yeah, that, that marks the, uh, Marguerite is the Squid Shark. And it should be right here. Should be an opening in the ground near them. So it's like this way, right? Don't you swoop back this way. Then go through here. Round the corner. Yeah, we got all these big roots here. I feel like that would be it, but that's that's not it. And is it to the left and then down? I've got a good feeling about this. There we go. There's Marguerite. Yeah, I feel like it should be in this zone. And then just dive down deeper in this area, you think? What are this? Not at her actual place, right. But it's in it's in the area, right?
probably. I'm kind of curious what this is because I've never, I don't think I've ever grabbed any of this, whatever this is. If this is even a grabbable item. Not grabbable. All right. So not at her place. And I don't know if this, I, yeah, because I, like, I don't even know what kelp, I don't even know what the kelp cave is supposed to look like. So it's kind of hard. That's the, that's like one of the most challenging things about this game is like people can tell you, oh yeah, just go to the kelp cave. It's like, okay, I don't even know what the heck that is, what that's supposed to look like. <laughs> yeah, I've been through here already. They got like these names for these areas that it's like, As, especially online, you look something up online, and it's like, oh yeah, just go to the uh, the rocky outcropping or the rocky uh, the rocky cliff face with uh, coral on it. It's like, okay, cool, that's pretty good. There's not like a good way to give directions, I guess. You kind of gotta you can use landmarks and stuff, but I don't know. I don't really know what I'm even talking about. Yo, what up, Ross? So right now we're looking for um, root pustules. I've been uh, I've been driving around down here in this like area near Marguerite and in like the sea monkey area trying to find these and I'm not having much luck the root pustule like there's all these big roots here you'd think that this would be the place to find it right like this this would make sense to find a root pustule on one of these big roots but no So like instead of going to her place, I, I'm pretty sure it's like this is this is a sea monkey area. Ross, do you need help? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I know you're supposed to go to the kelp cave. It said like the place where the sea monkeys are by Marguerite. So like we got sea monkeys in this zone where I'm at. I'm near Marguerite, but I just am not... Uh, the biome should go from green to bright orange red. Okay. I need to fix my uh, my truck real quick. Let's see here. Yeah, this thing's getting a little beat. My driving is god awful. What up, Sea Monkey? Dude, he brought me a diamond. This dude is. What a bro. What did you bring me? Nothing? Oh, you just were scared? Alright, that's cool. As long as you don't steal nothing. I hate when they, like, when they first stole something from me. I don't even remember what it was, but it was so annoying. It was something I crafted. Like, it's like, oh, yeah, craft this next thing. It was like the next thing in, in the uh, progression that I needed to craft. And then the freaking sea monkey just snagged it from me. And I had to make another one. I think it might have been my knife. Go back to the base and go to the creep vine back there back to what base back to Marguerite's base or back to my base so Ross are you saying like get out of this zone I think it's under the tree spires a little more to the south okay so I think Ross is saying go back to my base. And then from there go to the, uh, or go back towards my base. We need to find the uh, creep vine area. So we like dive down in the creep vine area. Let's see here. 
I spend an hour just looking for, for stuff. Go back to my base. Okay. Yeah, I'd really... Because, like, I have... After we get these pustules, I have everything I need to craft the alien body parts. So I'd, I'd kind of really like to go do that today if I can. Uh, but I also don't want to go too long here because I do need to uh, get some sleep at some point. I do, I do in fact, be tired. Will says I might be wrong, though. Yeah, I'm not I'm not 100% sure, but if we go back towards, like, my base, and then we get into that, like Ross is saying, get into that creek, because I think there might be multiple biomes that are the same thing, right? They do do that, don't they? I feel like I'm being chased right now. Something trying to bite my butt. This game, man, something's always trying to bite your butt. Sounds like kids, says Brittany B. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Multiple kelp spots, I believe. Oh, okay, so I'm seeing... That does make sense, because the... Uh, I remember the sea monkeys were near base when I first found them. They were in, like, a kelp area like this, right? So do we like go to here and find a cave down from here? Or is this the wrong uh the wrong creep vines? I wouldn't think it'd be that close to base, right? I just don't know. All right, well, anyways, we're back at base. So now are we thinking south, maybe? The tree spire's a little more to the south, says Wolfwoods. Um, there might be multiple kelp spots. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. There are a decent amount of these, like, creep vine areas. And see, like, the sea monkeys are chilling. That's why, I like, the online thing was kind of confusing, because it's like, find the sea monkey area with the creep vines and go in a cave. But it also did say something about Pilot's last known location. What's up, my buddy? What up, uh, Mel Legs? Welcome to the stream. How you doing today? I'm glad to see you here. Hopefully all is well. Kind of looking around at this stuff. Is it... in this stuff should be near base there should be like what a, a cave that goes like this something like this I'm just beating up my, I probably shouldn't bring the sea truck in here actually maybe we should prawn suit Oh, no. Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. I'll fudge. Nope, we're good, we're good. Wait, maybe. Alright, I might dive in that hole. 
in my uh, prawn suit. Uh, Timothy says, see you tomorrow in the next live stream. Going to sleep. Goodbye. Alrighty, you have a good night, buddy. Appreciate you watching Welcome and stuff. We will, uh, we'll see you at another live stream. Yeah, I feel like this seems promising, right? There's a hole here. But it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, I'm, am I falling? I'm falling. Sea monkey area. But uh, this is not a very big area. Ross says yes. But this is there's not much to this. That was all that was. That seemed like that would be good, but that's all there was. Maybe does it go deeper elsewhere? Let's dive on in. Yeah, this doesn't seem to go anywhere. I feel like it's probably going to be a lot deeper than that. Is there more cavage in this zone? Does it go down deeper somewhere? It's got to, right? Wait, am I seeing am I seeing an opening to something good? Calorie intake recommended. I need to eat calories. Frig. Not again. Eat all my fish. All my fish are gone. There must be like a good opening where this just dives right down somewhere. I would I would think there would have to be. Down here. Cuz see, we're kind of leaving the uh the area. But this goes a lot deeper. Fudge, I don't know, man. I've been through here before, and i never seen nothing like that, I don't think. Unless we go way down down deep in this. Yeah, you're in the twisted bridge area. Is that the right the right area? Or is that mm, just not it? Oh boy. Hello there, buddy. I feel attacked right now. This is going pretty deep, but um, I don't think there's anything here. You go towards the Phi Robotics, there's creep vines there, and there's a hole you can go down. Alrighty. Let's try and get my way up out of here. I'm falling down. 
Come on, recharge. Just not quite enough. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Get me up on the ledge. Get me up on the ledge. Come on. Fudge. Let me find a landing spot. What is that? Is that something I've scanned before? Storage. Mod. Yeah, we got storage. Good on that. Alright, there's five robotics, so we can just make our way out of here and head towards that. Try searching more to the east or west for the Arctic kelp. Should be spots of either direction. Okay. Give it a try. So yeah, if we're heading towards Phi Robotics, we're heading towards the uh, towards the west. So that sh should be good, right? I just wanted to punch that thing. Just take my frustrations out on that on that poor uh, swimming monster. Timothy's back. Welcome back, buddy. find some kelp zones if we head towards the west hopefully okay here we go I'm seeing some uh, I'm seeing some okay if we go down here maybe is this is this gonna go down is it going down I think it's going down. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is looking good. This is looking real good. Now we're looking for yellow balls. Growing off of big roots. Oh, hey, is that it? Yo, did we just find it? I think we just found it. Yes. What do I need? Two of those. Nice. I'm going to grab maybe a couple extra just in case. We have it. All right, now we got to get back to Sea Truck. Freak yeah, thank you guys. I would have never found it. We would have been here all day. Or it would have just been a day of me streaming and then going to sleep and not having achieved my goal. And that would have been bad. Wolf says, here we go. Yep, nice. Frig yeah. Ross says, there you go. Yeah, yeah, we've done it. Finally, we've done it. Back to Trucky Timmy. And then we're going to dive deep into the uh, crystal zone, where that red zone is. Hopefully I can find my way back there. I know where, like, the crystal zone is, but getting back to the red zone might be a little bit of a challenge for me. But we get back there, and uh, we have everything. We're going to craft a freaking alien body. I'm very curious to see what's going to happen here. Like, was this a necessary step? Did I need to do all this? Or is this just kind of like a side thing that it's like, yeah, you can help the alien by crafting his body, or you could not. Because once again, like, as far as the main story, I feel like I'm kind of stuck again. You know what I mean? Wolf says, let's go. Let's friggin' go. Hells to the yells. Yeah, I, I like, as far as the main story, I'm like, I really don't know where, where to even go next, I feel like. I, 
I've explored a lot of the map areas. I don't know if I've gone to all of them. Maybe that's... Um, maybe I just need to go back to the map zones. Check out the map zones again. Oh, this thing's power is freaking low. God dang it. Alright, I guess we're going to have to plug in a little bit. We'll plug in long enough to maybe cook me some food or something. Why, why you no go... Why you no go in? Yeah, we're gonna want this thing to be charged. So we can we can jam out for a little bit. Should have some fish in here, maybe. I thought I kept fish in here. Maybe I'm wrong. Empty, empty. Uh, empty. Hmm. All right, we'll go grab some fish. By the time we get back, that should be charged up, right? That's the hope. What is your favorite Call of Duty game? Uh, probably like the, um, I think it was Black Ops Two. I really, I didn't really, I don't really like the, uh, the multiplayer stuff. I really, my main thing was just zombies. The Call of Duty with the best zombies, and I think that was Black Ops 2. I, I've just never really been into the, the whole multiplayer shooter stuff. What about you? Going deeper by What's-Her-Face Bay should eventually get you to the Crystal area. Yeah, I, I actually I got there. Um, I lost my sea truck there a while back. And I had to go do a recovery mission. But uh, recently I found there's like that crystal, uh, red crystal zone where you craft the alien bodies. So I found that too. So it's just I got to try and make my way back to that, I guess. It's like I know basically where it's at, but I always end up getting lost anyway. Oh, he said it. He said Subnautica. Yeah, I need to. I need to get the freaking music box on my sea truck already. Let's keep this stocked up with food. I do need to get the engine upgrade for my uh, sea truck also, cause like, my um, dude, my my engine like I'm so slow now because of uh, all the attachments. Um, okay, we're at a hundred. That doesn't take long at all. It's pretty nice. Back to pilot last known. Uh, have you ever played uh, the Jump King, Sir Wolfwoods? I've done, uh, what, like six streams on it and I still haven't gotten anywhere, <laughs> I feel like. But, um... If you ever played Jump King, I did a, uh, I played a game today. I got an email. It was kind of weird. Like I thought, I thought it might have been a scam, but I got an email, and they're like, "Hey, I'm a dev. Uh, I made this game called um, Unstable Cylinder." And he's like, "I watched your Jump King." He's like, "Would you want to uh, play my game?" I'll, you know, he gave me a link for the download and stuff. But it's like, uh, you haven't played it. All right, but yeah, it's like a it's a platformer. It's a very very hard platformer. Like it it'll drive you crazy. It's just a rage inducing game unless you're one of those people who just like are professional, I guess. Like play it constantly and just get down all the moves and stuff. But it's so simple. You're just using your arrow keys to change the direction, and you use your space bar to jump. But the amount of time you hold your space bar controls how high you jump. 
So like there's you have to make these different jumps and you have to um, time it just right to hit the right like uh, power for the jump. But yeah, anyways, like I was playing that one today, the uh, Unstable Cylinders that that guy sent me. It's like in a demo version or whatever. But it was actually pretty cool because it was similar to Jump King, but way harder because you have to make the whole tower rock back and forth to be able to like make progress. And it gets like really hard to do some of these. I was at the beginning, man, and I was like, I was barely able to make it past the beginning. It's another one of those rage-inducing games. <laughs> It's like I, I'm sitting there playing Jump King or like that game, and I'm like addicted to it, but I'm also getting so angry because I'm not making any progress. It's one of those types. And every time I'm like, I don't know why I do this, but then I can't stop playing it. I feel like I always fudge up the direction here when I, I'm coming down here to go to Marguerite's place. I know it's through a cave. I think this is it. This is the right way. Somehow I always frig it up, man. Where are you at, Marguerite? I gotta I gotta get this alien body crafted today, man. I just know I gotta I gotta get sleep, but I also have to get this alien body crafted. I'm I'm too curious now what this is gonna do, like what's gonna happen here. What it's even going to look like. I do have my prawn suit, right? Prawn suit's attached? Okay, yeah, because that's where all the stuff is. I imagine I just left the prawn suit at home, came all the way down here without everything that I need. Oh, I'm I'm just pulling this. I'm not actually... I, th I was trying to drive, not just pull the freaking thing. thing slow as frig anyway it's like I might as well be pulling it oh we're almost we're already almost back to the crystal place now from here Getting to that next... I need to... Dude, why do I not make beacons? It would be so smart to have beacons. And I never do it. Alright, this is where it's going to get a little bit sketchy. There he is, there he is. I don't know why I just was about to get out. I don't want to get out. What do I do? Do I cling to the right? I think I cling to the right, don't I? No, he's got me. You frig. Oh, you frig. He's going to take it down to halfway. Okay, we're good. I need to like kind of make a little bit of an escape. We're not, we're not too bad off yet. Get a little bit of ways. And then we're going to repair before he frigs it up. How's my, my repair tools looking good? Let's get it up to 100. There's only one of them here, right? Is there only one that I have to worry about? I also don't want him to kill me because if he comes up on me, he's going to freaking bite me and kill me. 
I'd rather him bite the sea truck and take it down to half health. I don't know if this actually was the direction. I'm just kind of trying to, because this is a little bit more of an enclosed space. I'm thinking maybe he won't be able to get at me as easily, and he will frig off a little bit. Know what I'm saying? Right, something I need to remember for the next Subnautica game. Make beacons. Use beacons. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yes, so from here, we're going to have to prawn suit. So I should have everything on the prawn suit. I hope, I believe, I yeah, I, I've been loading everything onto the prawn suit. Because I knew I was gonna. it was going to come to this. We have to dive down a crack, right? Or no? Did we have to dive down a crack? No, this is just the kyanite mine, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's just the kyanite mine. I don't think I need to dive down that crack. But I do think I'm going to go way deeper than the sea truck can take me. I'm pretty sure that's that is the case. I don't exactly know the direction I need to be heading here. Oh no, no 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 no. I think we can take the sea truck a little farther though. Because I don't think that's the spot where we dive down. I wish this thing would charge my seat or my uh, prawn suit. That's so frustrating that it doesn't. All right, as long as we don't go below 650, we're good. We can kind of keep. Maximum depth reached. I know. Oh, I know it. I just need to find the red crystal zone. I don't know if this is anywhere near where it's at. Oh wait, am I? Oh, I hear, I hear bad stuff. Oh frig, that's bad. Oh, what do I do here? What do I do here? Let's. Okay, let's, let's, let's bail on the, uh, on the sea truck. I'm gonna fix it up. I'm gonna bail on it. I'm gonna take the prawn suit. All we need is the prawn suit. Because we're going to have to go pretty deep. I know it's way deep down. I just don't know where exactly. Okay, is that dead? Okay, it's not dead. But... Oh, no. Oh, I was like right on time. Holy frig. Dude, that was crazy. He almost grabbed me, but I got in the prawn suit like right on time. Down, down here. I think it is, isn't it? It was down like a hole, right? I hope I'm. I hope I'm on the right track. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. I feel like it might have been... I think I might be on the right track, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm seeing alien stuff. Yes. We're going to freaking do it. But I, I have to go by, by foot. That's right, I do have to go by foot. I thought it was in the red crystal zone for some reason. But this is it, isn't it? Or 
am I mistaken? No, this isn't it. This is where I found the last part. Okay. I'll be right back. I am back. Okay, so this is not the right place. This is a place, but it's the, uh, it's where I found the body part. I still need to, I do need to find the red crystal zone. I was right about that, I think. Or at least this was a little bit of a safety zone where I could get away from the buttholini, you know what I mean? So now we need to make our way up and out of here. Oh, uh, that's not the way to get up and out of here is to run into something with my head. That doesn't work. Oh, can we land somewhere? Can we land somewhere, please? Oh, see, I thought for some reason I thought I had to go straight up, but it, it does kind of gradually go up. It's got to be near here, though, right? God dang it. I really wish I would have made a freaking... I'm going to get attacked. Going to get attacked. Trying to get away. Trying to get away. Please run away. I wish I could go a little faster. He's right behind me. I hear him chomping. You really don't like me being here. Where the frig is Red Crystal Zone? Is it down here? Maybe? I'm so bad at directions, man. Subnautica directions are horrible, too. Where the frig is it? I gotta find it. I gotta find it. Yeah, they don't make nothing, like easy to find, do they? You would think I would see like the red glow or something from the crystals, because th that area, this area is a little bit purplish. That area, you, you get a little bit reddish, I think. Wait. Does it start purple and gradually get red as you go down? Is is this the right the right thing? I don't think it is. I feel like I'm just going in circles. We'll find it eventually if we walk in circles long enough, but that's not the best method. I remember, like, I thought I could just see red crystals poking up from, like, the, the surface. Like, I was looking around, and I'm like, wait a second, what is that? Because I could have swore I could just see the red crystals peeking out. I think I gotta go back and watch my stream so I can figure out where the frig I need to go. <laughs> that is like honestly the best way though to see like where you need to go is by just watch. Cause like trying to describe it to somebody or like showing pictures, it's a little confusing. But 
if you could just watch it, watch somebody finding it, it makes it so much easier. You... Brig. God dang it. Wait. No, it's just these red fish, dude. There's these red fish everywhere. And uh, I keep seeing red and thinking that it's the place, but it's just the freaking red fish. Stupid red fish. It's coming again. It can't be coming this soon. Like, you gotta leave me alone. Give me a freaking minute. Give me a second for a minute. Come on, my dude. Get into the crack. If I can get into the crack. Okay. This is that safe zone. Is it more towards the entrance? I don't think I have my professionals here anymore to uh, direct me. Maybe it's more back this way. Yeah, I'm at 53% power now already too. I saw some red. As I was going through here, it started getting red, didn't it? Fudge, dude. He's like chomping at me right now as we speak. We need to head back towards this. I swear I saw some red as we were like floating along. Is it just these stupid fish again? Was I actually... Wait a second, is this the way down to the, um... This is the way down to where we found the body part, right? So what was that other... Yeah. What was that other place I just found? I feel like I just found another place. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Over here. Is this just another way? God dang you. I wish I could kill this thing. So bad. So what was this over here? There was like a little bit of a ca cave or something opening. And then it dropped down. I'm probably not going to be able to find it now. Right here, right? Yo, what up, Gamer Z? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Not right here. Also, I need to repair this thing before it gets, it gets chomped again. I'm trying to find the place where I was at before Gamer Z, and I, I can't seem to do it. There's like a I'm in the purple crystal zone. There's like a red crystal zone, and uh, I just can't I just can't find it. Welcome aboard, Captain. For the life of me. Wait. I see red crystals. Holy frig! Good timing, Gamer Z. You're right in time to see the the triumph here. Finally, I, I was talking about it, and then bam, there it is. You love to see it. Wanted to ask for uh, some time. That's why. Why don't our messages pop up on the screen anymore? Oh, because um, they you can like. I have I have words that you're not allowed to use like on YouTube chat so like if you type a bad word on the YouTube chat it won't pop up but the uh, the chat screen that was showing on the screen would still show the message so I had sloth man being a dingle hopper he he realized that if he swore in the chat it wouldn't show up in the YouTube chat but it would still show up on the screen so once he realized that he was doing dingle hopper stuff 
So I just got rid of it. There's no way to like moderate what um, can be said on the uh, chat that pops up on screen. Forty-six percent. This is kind of bad because uh, we have to make our way back out of here too, and we don't have a lot of power. So there's always some dingle hopper who has to ruin the good thing for everybody. Need to drink some waters. Where is Alien Zone? Where is the freaking place, man? Oh, no, it's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. No. Come back. Wait, so Slothman is banned again? No, he's not banned. I didn't ban him, but I just... I got rid of that thing having, you know, the chat read on screen. Because of him. I didn't want to go an hour and a half or two hours. Like, I didn't want to go very long today because I wanted to get some sleep, but I can't stop playing because I need to find this alien place and build this freaking alien body. And now my uh, prawn suit battery's running low. Oh, and here's this freaking dingus. God dang it. Oh, I know. I don't have food on me either, do I? I think I put all my food away. We have to build. Softman is so random. Yeah, he is. He's he's wild. He's a wild one. The dingle hopper stuff that he does, man. God dang it, this is bad. This is real bad. Oh, he's right freaking there, dude. He's trying to he's trying to get me. He's right freaking there waiting to get me. Where the frig could the alien place be? There's no, there's no direction. There's nothing sh showing. There's no alien lights or anything. Is it down deep? I thought it was down deep. But I can only go so far down here. Did I make a wrong turn somewhere? Here's the entrance, right? Is there another way I could have gone? Maybe? I think I'm just heading my way out of here. That's the way out, I believe. So where the frig is the alien place? Oh no, that's that's the alien. That's the bad. That's the bad fish. There he is. Fudge. He scares me every time. Wait, maybe it's through here. Is there a way through here? My power is so low. This is so bad. Power is low. I'm getting eaten. Getting attacked real bad. God dang it, dude. Frig off. Please, just leave me alone for two seconds. So annoying.
Uh-oh, I'm out of power? No, we're good, we're good. We can repair up a little more. I'm gonna need batteries. I'm gonna need to go and get myself batteries and come back here so I can put a battery in this thing to get me uh, home. Brittany B says, did you ever find it? Uh, what's that? The, uh, root stuff? We found the, uh, yeah, we found the postules, and I found the red crystal zone, but now I can't find the, uh, where the alien place actually is. I have been running around the crystal zone getting attacked by the, uh, leviathan, and, um, my batteries are running low. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I think I might have to, like, call it a day. I think you just keep going further. So I kept going through this place, and, like, I just wasn't getting anywhere. I went way down deep here, kept walking around, but it just wasn't, like... Put a wall on your right and just follow it. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Oh, I'm going to starve, too. Gotta starve. I need to grab a fish. I need to eat you. I need to eat you. Get over here so I can eat you. I'm eating you raw. I know it's gross, but I have no choice. Batteries are low. Uh, we'll say sorry. I dozed off there for a minute. Hey, no worries. What's your name on Twitch, Jake? It is Jake underscore the underscore mead. And uh, if you don't want to deal with that, like typing that, you can probably find the link on my YouTube channel. So close, my battery's so low. And this alien just, or this uh, Leviathan just keeps friggin' biting me. See, now this is a dead end here. We've hit, we've hit dead end. I need to eat a fish. Where'd that fish go? Come here. I need to eat you. Deep diving. Diving deep. We're, we're going down. We're going down. And this uh, Leviathan just keeps... Oh, there it is. There it freaking is. You said right? this was the spot where I can make you a body, right? Yes. Oh, no. Dude, why is he attacking my prawn suit right now? You friggin... Once you have used the fabricator, the bandage can... Stab the crap out of you, you idiot. And then we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. Okay. Uh, get rid of some water. Nice. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good to go. Wolf says, oh, hell yeah. Dude, we, we are here. My hunger is so bad, though. Okay. What do I do? Use Fabricator. Architect Skeleton. So, Alan, you said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. You were a scientist? Like me? My people I'm going to go get some food while they, they're they conversing. With particular interest. I need As to get I some said, fish. Like me. If that is your interpretation. So, how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind. My body. Um, Perhaps you should build the next component. Okay, let me let me just... I'm trying to, like, get this thing batteried so that way I can repair the trucky swimmy timmy so that way it doesn't get destroyed. And I also need to eat a fish really bad. If he comes back to hit this... He's going to destroy it. What up, uh, Gamer Island Gods in the uh, Twitch chat? Much appreciated, buddy, for uh, popping in over there also. My dude. Okay, I'm going to... He's coming. He's coming for me. I just need to eat before I freaking starve. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If only I could have brought my, uh, my sea truck, I would have had all the food I need to survive down here, but I frigged up real bad. It's, it's going to be a massacre here real real shortly. 
Just call me Gamer Z only. All right, yeah, that's that's fine. That's that's much uh, much easier anyway. Okay, eat the fish. It's gross. You're eating raw fish, but my vital signs have stabilized. We're good. We're chilling. We're gonna make it. Next part. So you came here to search for a cure? I left the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? Oh, he's the one who released the bacteria? If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. Okay. Whatever you say. This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? Oh, this guy's gonna be creepy, huh? To make amends. Amends? For the bacteria? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. Gamer Z said, what's the story of the game? You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. He's not going to do it, is he? Uh, so you, the first one, you go to an alien planet. There's a bacteria that's released there, so you get infected, and you have to cure yourself and escape. Uh, this one, you come back to, you're like, re they're like researchers, and they're all coming to this planet to, like, do research on, uh, I think on the bacteria. Well, the aliens were researching the bacteria. This is one of those aliens. It's kind of hard to explain it in, like, a short kind of thing. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh. He released the bacteria? Speak about it. We can come back to this. Dude, that's crazy. Look at his alien body. Yeah, there's aliens that were on this planet, and they were researching a bacteria. The bacteria got released, I guess, by this guy that I just helped build a body. Commencing days in Charleston. This is crazy. Did it work? Are we... He's got four legs. He's like a... Uh, a minotaur? It's been some time since I lost... A centaur? In so many a centaur, I mean? <laughs> like waking from a dream. What is he doing Whoa. to me? Hey. You're really not in my head anymore? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home to assess, repair, to make hmm. amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh, no. We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But? It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. Hmm. The bacteria got out, infecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does yeah, not concern me. It was certainly manipulative. <laughs> Calorie intake in the middle of all this. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. So my dude's trying to get out of here. Um... But that will do it for today's episode. Let me show you a photo of this guy. 
Let's get a photo of this freaking guy. Looking all crazy over there. There we go. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Subnautica Below Zero. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. That helps me out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications so that way you're not going to miss out on any of the future streams or videos. Join the Discord if you want to come by and chat over there. Uh, and if you want to help uh, support the channel and the things I do, it's only 99 cents to become a member. And that gets you a bunch of cool perks here on YouTube. You get emojis next to your name that say what level you are. You get... Um, Emojis you can use in the chat. You're going to get access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server that you can join whenever you want or with me on Fridays whenever I'm going to be streaming that. We're going to have Season 3 popping off here soon. Uh, also, link down in the description and on the channel and stuff is the merch. If you want to check out merch, um, that definitely helps me out a bunch too. And there's pretty cool stuff. I like, I like the merch that we've got on there. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.